Okay, I thought I'd film these three wheel horse machines. And I'm just kind of curious if you had to pick one to just keep and use, which one would you prefer? You know, they all kind of have their pros and cons for sure, but you know, it's it's a tough choice for me and that's I'm just curious what you guys would pick, but I think uh, from just a cool, just the cool factor, I think the Suburban's hard to beat. It's just such a neat looking machine. It looks like a little Ford 8N or something, just with those ag tires and those fenders and then the tall front tires. It looks like a real farm tractor that's just been miniaturized, and I just think that's cool, and then... Uh, the Lawn Ranger is super simple, extremely dependable. I mean, the mower deck on that, the way it was designed, and again, I got that at home. Sorry, I don't have it mounted, but uh, those were made to pretty much last forever, those mower decks on those. Couldn't wear them out, and they're only, you know, six-horse motor, super uh, easy to, you know, if you wore it out and you couldn't find parts, you could always put a aftermarket engine on it for a couple hundred bucks so pretty cheap to maintain that's the real good thing about the lawn ranger uh, real simple and it's the most comfortable to drive i think the clutch the way the clutch works and everything it's just real easy to drive real comfortable and of course that one there the 314 that would totally you know work circles around all of them for sure Yeah, that would that would just uh, outwork any of them. That's a 42 inch deck compared to those are 30 or 32. I can't remember, but they're both about the same. Yeah, that one's you know bigger deck, more power. I mean, this would just be a good machine to just use and get the job done. And the eight speed transmission is the most common by far. So you know, I think the parts availability transmission wise will always be there. Um, but the downfall to this one is for some reason those Kohler Command engines, you can't find rebuild kits for them. And that's a real huge bummer. I'm not sure why that is. but So if you wore it out, this one would definitely be a lot more expensive to put a different engine on it compared to either one of these two. Um... The K91 here, I got real lucky and found a new old stock Fairbanks recoil starter, as you can see. Got real lucky finding that. Um, other than that, uh, that's the one tough part to find that's in good shape, but the rest of the engine parts are actually pretty, pretty uh, common for the K91, so that's always good. But it's actually kind of hard to work on. The carburetor is kind of hard to get at. The spark plug's hard to get at. And trying to take the hood off is kind of a pain because you can see how stuck that steering wheel. I don't think that hood's ever been off there. And of course, the gas tank is mounted in the hood, so it's a little trickier. This one here is real easy to work on. The hood comes right off, three screws. The gas tank's mounted on the engine instead of on the hood, which is nice. And if you look back here, you see that big heavy-duty three-speed unidrive. And if you look over here at the 314, I mean, they're virtually identical. Uh, that little tiny six-horsepower tractor has just as heavy-duty of a transmission as this one. Um, that's what I loved about these 60s wheel horses. And again, just those uh, foot rests, they were real comfortable to use. Nice positioning on those for sure. This is the old three-piece transmission. It's got the cast iron in the middle with two steel side plates. And of course the axle tubes are just welded right onto those side plates there. Now these were the, I guess you could say the weakest of all three. But again, still very heavy duty and uh, 
can take a lot of punishment. I mean, this one you could actually connect a plow to it. It's got a cable, and you can see all that. It's got a cable up there that lifts this attaching spot there, and you can actually put a little one-bottom plow on that. And all that good stuff. So anyway, yeah, I'm just curious. Which one would you keep and use if you had to pick? And obviously it kind of depends on how big your your property is. I mean, obviously a small property you could get away with one of these. If you had a larger pro property, obviously this would be the one you'd want, the 314. But, um, but I would say of all three, the Lawn Ranger is probably the cheapest... And one of the most dependable overall to just use and collect. Easy to store, all that stuff. Tecumseh's are pretty common still. You can still find a lot of the parts. And again, you could always put an aftermarket engine on it fairly easily. For, and pretty cheaply as well. So, Anyway, these two small ones are warm. We'll take them for a quick spin. I don't think I have to choke this one. Normally choke would be this position, but I shouldn't, it's warm, so I shouldn't have to choke it, and then idle is just all the way down. Maybe I will have to choke it. pretty good. I'm not going to complain for as old as that is. Could be worse, that's for sure. Okay. See if this guy will start up. Go for a quick little drive here.
bad. No complaints. Yeah, I should drive them more. I mean, the more you drive them, the better they run. Yeah, once they're warmed up, they run pretty good. This one I haven't started yet. It's been sitting for about a week. So we'll see how he starts up. Okay, I think this one I'm going to have to choke it for sure. Things like riding a Cadillac. It's real comfortable, this one. But it's a little harder to get on and off than like that Lawn Ranger, for instance. I hope that video wasn't too shaky, but yeah, I'm just curious. Uh, which one you'd prefer? A 314? Trusty, cheap to maintain Lawn Ranger? Or that Suburban? I'll admit, I think if I had to pick one of the three, I think I'd pick this old one. I just, because uh, it'll mow, it'll get the job done. And it's just too cool looking. It's just so unique looking. The Lawn Ranger is super dependable, super nice. Cheap to maintain, just reliable. Uh, the only complaint I have about any Lawn Ranger is the tires. I, I wish they were a little bigger. You get a little thorn or something in them front tires and they just go flat real quick. So that would be the only con to that one, I think. And then the 314 is just a beast. Get the job done real quick. Good workhorse. Uh, but again, you know, if you wear out the engine or something, it's going to be a little pricier to fix all of that. So it's a tough choice, you guys. So anyway, please share your opinions. I'd love to hear them. Thanks for watching.